Hey everyone, welcome to AI Motion Studio. Today, I'm going to take you through the exciting process of making an AI-powered commercial. If you're looking to create a professional-looking ad for brands or businesses, or maybe you want to promote your own business on TV or YouTube, this method will work for you. You can make AI commercials for any product using this approach. So let's dive in. All right, let's get started. For this example, I'm going to create an ad for a Chinese electric car that's not very popular, and the AI model I'm using hasn't been trained on it yet. I'll be using the Huawei Avatar 11. To begin, I need images of the car, so I head over to images.google.com and search for Huawei Avatar 11. To download the images, I use a Chrome extension called Image Downloader. I selected around 40 images and downloaded them. Now it's time to head over to Flux Gym on Pinocchio to train a LoRa model with these images. If you're not familiar with Flux Gym and Pinocchio, don't worry. I have another tutorial on training a LoRa model that you can check out. Here's a quick rundown of the process. I open Flux Gym and upload all the electric car images. I name the LoRa Huawei Avatar 11 and set the trigger word as HA11YWQKB. I set the VRAM to 12 gigabytes. To save time, I reduce the number of training cycles per image to five, leave the rest of the settings as default, and scroll down to add captions to the images using Florence 2. After that, I edit any incorrect captions. For example, I remove car names like Tesla or Jaguar and just replace them with electric EV. Once everything is set, I click start training. Now we have to be patient. The training process can take up to 10 hours, especially since I'm using an RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM and 40 images. During this time, I check my GPU performance to make sure everything is running smoothly. We'll fast forward to the end of training. A few hours later, the training is complete. It took about 10 hours to train 40 images. Now, I go to the output folder and find the newly trained LoRa models, four of them. I close Flux Gym and move over to Comfy UI where I'll be using the trained models to generate images for the ads. I use the Flux One dev base model and my newly trained LoRa models. Don't forget to include the trigger word in the prompt. In this case, I want to generate pink cars since the original dataset didn't have that color. I click Q prompt and wait for the results. The images generated are highly accurate compared to the ones I trained on. Let's take a closer look. On the left, you can see the original images and on the right are the generated ones. The results are impressive, right? Next, it's time to upscale the images. I'll be using Comfy UI again with a workflow that includes the Flux Upscaler. I upload the generated images into this workflow using the trained LoRa models to enhance the upscaling results. I click Q prompt and let the magic happen. If you wanna get this workflow, I've left a link in the description. You can download it from civitai.com by searching for AI Motion Studio. Once the upscaling is complete, I review the results. The images are sharper and have more detail, especially in the car rims. I repeat this process for all the generated images. Now, we move on to the video creation step. I head over to runwayml.com and log in. Using the images to video feature, I upload my upscaled images and turn them into a 10 second video. To get the best results, I use ChatGPT to generate specific prompts for a pink SUV ad following Runway ML's prompt guide. With ChatGPT's help, I get about 20 prompts. I edit these prompts to match the images I've uploaded and run the video generation process on Runway ML. Once all the videos are generated, I download them and open Topaz Video AI to upscale them to 4K. I use the RIA model in Topaz and leave the settings as default before clicking Export. The upscaling process will take some time. Now that all the videos are upscaled, 
It's time for the final step, editing. I open CapCut. You can use any editing software of your choice and import all the assets into the project. Wait, I almost forgot something, the music. The direction of the project will determine what type of music to use and whether it's pre-recorded or added during post-production. I'll go over the different types of music to use for specific ads in a future video. Also, not to make this video too long, so let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a video on this topic. For now, I'll just speed ramp the editing and show you the final result. I also included some other recent ads we've made using this same technique. you found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like to see more tutorials on how to use AI to create real-world job opportunities, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have fun creating.